my name is Ella. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my first video. And in today's video, I really just wanted to make this because I got a lot of new books for the summer and I'm really excited about them and I just want to share them with you. So hopefully you find some books that sound interesting to read this summer or maybe you've read them before and if you have, please in the comments leave me your thoughts and opinions about the books. So let's get into it. Okay, so first off, I thought I'd start with the most ambitious book, which is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Um, if you can't tell already, this book is freaking huge. There are about, there's about 1200 pages, okay? And the reason I got this book, because of course it's a classic, it's beautiful. Um, I mainly got it because of the musical Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812, which is based off of about 70 pages from this book. And I just love the characters. I think it would be really interesting to read. And I'm just really excited to learn more about this time in Russia. If you don't know, in a nutshell, it's basically about Napoleon's invasion of Russia in 1812 and follows three main characters. And it covers topics such as class, war, and basically just humanity. So I'm really excited to get into this but it also might take me like over a year the next book i have is an emotion of great delight by tahara mafi and look at this cover it's so beautiful but basically this story follows a teenage girl growing up in america post 9 11 and it's about growing up with racism and also she's dealing with a lot of grief in her family and a bunch of other complicated issues and i already started it i'm like halfway through it's really good. So I would really recommend. It also has an interesting structure where each kind of section goes back and forth between like a year. So it's like a year in the past and a year in the future or a year in the present. So it's really interesting following that storyline. The next book I have is one that my friend has recommended to me a lot and it's called The Book of Salt by Monique Truong. And I don't really know exactly what it's about. I know that it's about a Vietnamese cook living in Paris in in the 1930s and so it's a very interesting setting with a lot of cool characters and I'm really excited to get into this one. Next up we got Summer Bird Blue by Kemi Don Bowman and I'm really excited for this. I've also heard good things. I've heard good things about all the books I got. Uh, that's why I got them and from my own uh, interest. But um, this book follows Rumi Seto and she has a younger sister and they've been planning to write songs the whole summer. Basically just have a good time being sisters. But then disaster strikes and her younger sister dies and she's sent away to live with her aunt in Hawaii. So it follows just separation, grief, love, and yeah. This next book is also recommended from my friend from earlier and it is called On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous and is by Ocean Vuong. And all I know about this is that the structure is really cool because it's written in letters and it follows a son who's writing the letters to his mom who cannot read. And so it follows a lot on topics of family, but also race, class, and masculinity. Okay, the next one is a bit of an impulse buy, but it is The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. And um, yeah, it's a Netflix film. So I saw the trailer and I was like, well, actually I saw a picture of the trailer, but then th I saw this book on sale. And so I was like, might as well read it and then I could watch the movie. So it's just a thriller. And as you can guess, I think a woman in a window just sees something that she shouldn't have seen. And she's like, I really like thrillers. So hopefully it's good. And hopefully the Netflix movie is good as well. The next book is an anti-war novel and it's called Johnny Got His Gun by Dalton Trumbo. And this book had been on my to be read for a like a long time. I don't know why or I don't know where I found it, but I was doing an AP practice test uh, in my English class and there was an excerpt from this book and I was like, okay, that's weird. That's a weird coincidence. Like I need to get it. So it's basically an anti-war novel about World War One, but it's also really used for um, anti-Vietnam War. So I know this will be really hard to read, but I think it will also be really good to read. And since it is June, it is Pride Month, I picked up Let's Talk About Love by Claire Kahn. And I am really excited about this because it is about an asexual character and I feel like I have never seen an asexual character represented in any type of media. This book sounds really interesting. I'll just leave it at that. Oh, there's a good pun. It says Alice is about to ace this whole dating thing. Let me know if you got that, but yeah. 
This next novel is Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami, and it is a Japanese novel, and it follows a young student growing up in the 60s, and it says it's a magnificent coming-of-age story steeped in nostalgia. And I have heard really good things about this, and I also don't know a lot about this book, but I'm really excited to read something from a different culture, and also since I will be a college student soon. And last but not least, we have a non-fiction book, what, and it's, but it's by John Green, so we're still in the familiar, but we're branching out a little bit, um, and it's called, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is the, insert pronunciation, The Anthropocene, reviewed, so I am really excited to read some non-fiction, I don't really think I read that much nonfiction, and this is also a signed copy. Just about, it's just random observations about humanity. Oh, here's the signature, beautiful. But I was looking at the chapters, and one of them is just about teddy bears, one of them's about Diet Dr. Pepper, uh, one of them's about the internet, and so it just sounds like a really fun read for the summer. So that sums up all of my books for the summer. Will I read all of them? Definitely not, but I am really excited to get into them and to find some books that really make me uh, really make me happy or make me learn something or make me interested or give me some sort of entertainment. So yeah, um, let me know if you've read any of these books. I'd love to hear your opinions or to tell me to stay away from them, but also kind of too late because I already bought them. But um, also tell me what you're reading this summer and if you have any other recommendations. So that's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing June and amazing summer filled with lots of reading if that's what makes you happy.